Hi, I'm Linda Dare, manager of the Otis Lab Press in the basement at Otis College of Art and Design. I'm here to give you a demo on our hydraulic paper cutter. The most important thing in the lab press is safety. And one of the very first things you know, need to know about our hydraulic paper cutter, besides the fact that it cuts enormous amounts of paper, is that only one person should behind, be behind this area for cutting. One person at a time. The second thing, no dangly things, no scarves, no hoodies, no necklaces. Make sure you don't have anything that can get in the way. No open-toed shoes. Make sure you don't wear your sandals. And um, no food. <laughs> so we are going to cut a large parent size sheet, a stack of parent size sheet, into smaller sheets. And I'll give you a run through of all the steps needed. The first thing you're going to want to do is to turn the cutter on using the safety disconnect switch. We have a lock on this that you want to take off. This lock is on when no one is here. You cannot cut paper down here without a lab tech on duty. This is the on switch. Flip it to the on position and this light will come on. We'll load our paper into, onto the bed of the press and one of the first things that you'll need to be reminded of is in handling paper you want to hold it draping like that so it doesn't ding. Feed that into the paper cutter and then you can, what I call knocking up, knock against the side wall and the back gauge and it's hanging over the edge. That is also a safety issue. So we want to re-measure what you're going to cut so that the back gauge hand wheel will move the paper back. Actually, the hand wheel pushes the back gauge back. The paper will not go back on its own. You have to feed it back. And I will do that until I come to my crop mark. The crop mark is now lined up with the outside, that means the, the edge of the light closest to me. In preparation for cutting the paper, we have a jogger, which you can butt up against the paper on either side. And that ensures that the paper is in here square. Square to the left-hand edge and the back gauge. I'm going to run through all the steps first because it's quite noisy. One of the first things I do is turn the start button. It's the green start button. Turn that on. Then I get balanced and put my foot on the treadle. The toe pushes down the clamp, which comes down on the stack of paper. I release, check to make sure that the paper hasn't joggled, and now I'm ready to cut. When you're ready to cut, remember that it's a very safe, especially if there's only one person back here. When I put my right thumb on this red button and my left thumb on this red button, push, the blade comes down and cuts. Then I release and turn the stop button on immediately. So we can run through that now uh, and it'll be pretty noisy. Ready? Well, we can now use the hand gauge to pull it out, unlocking the hand gauge and bringing the paper forward. And that's our first cut. And the very last thing we do is clean up. So I'm taking my paper scraps, I'm looking around to make sure everything's clean and tidy, and I go over and turn the machine off. Put the handle in the off position and lock it back up. And that 
us how to use our paper cutter. Oh, and here's the trash. <laughs>